Hey guys, well, I'm pretty excited because today I'm working on a different style tool change macro and screen set. I had a gentleman email me a few days ago and ask if I could write a macro for a drum type tool changer. Uh, he has a, a brother TC. 201 uh, vertical machining center that he got from I think a school or something I think it's an older late 80s model uh, it's it's not a huge machine it's pretty small uh, very nice machine and he's retrofitting it to use Mach 3 and so he sent me an email and asked me if I could help him with a macro for the tool changer so it has a drum type tool changer. The requirements he wanted from Mach 3 and the macro were to keep track of eight tools plus one tool in the spindle. Uh, he wanted Mach 3 to rotate to the next tool position and move the Z axis into position. Uh, he needed Mach 3 to send an output to, a, to an Arduino uh, for the arm and that the arm, the power draw bar, all that's going to be controlled by the Arduino. So we just needed an output for that, which was fairly easy. Uh, and then Mach 3 needed to receive an input from the Adreno that the tool change was complete. Once it received that input, then he wanted Mach 3 to dynamically update the changer and keep track of all the tools. Now that aspect of the uh, macro was probably the most difficult and challenging, but I really enjoyed it, and so let's see what we've got so far. He wanted to use the C-axis for the rotation of the drum, and so I added the C-DRO here. I also, I left the same graphic here. This is just showing what tool is in what slot. I didn't see any reason in changing that. I did add this drum graphic here to just give you a visual of what slot the drum is actually on at the current time. Also, our spindle. I added a little graphic here for our spindle to let you know what tool is actually in the spindle at, at the moment. And I move the update ATC button from down here up to here and the actual macro, the button macro is actually a lot different than my macro. So in order to load the ATC, what you're going to do is Number one, this button right here will delete all the tray inventory in the drum. So we can hit this button. It will notify us that we are asking it to delete all the tray data. And we want to say yes. And you can see it resets all the DROs to zero. Now, of course, you only want to do this when there are actually no tools in there. Now you can manually rotate the drum by just pressing the button, the red number, and as you can see, the DRO actually rotates to the correct position. And it also gives you an indication in the slot which slot you're actually on. All right, so now in order to load the ATC up, all you do is just put your tool number in, uh, in this case tool number 11, and then you just simply hit load ATC. It will prompt you and say please insert tool number 11 and give you a brief description of whatever that tool is in your tool table. Mine happens to be a chamfer mill. Click OK. You will see the arm blink sending the output to the Arduino. The Arduino completes the tool change and sends an input back to Mach 3. 
it turns the center of the arm green and the rest of the arm kind of gets grayed out. The DRO for slot number one updates to 11 and it also indicates what slot number it put tool number 11 in. We want to put in an another tool. We'll type in tool number 6. Load ATC. Again, please insert number 6. I do this just so you can get a visual of the actual tool you're installing into the tool changer agrees with what you think is in the tool description. It's just a way to double check it uh, so that you don't have any problems later on. Click OK. Again the arm turns red sending the output to the Arduino. The Arduino sends a input back to Mach 3 letting you know the tool change uh, went OK. The slot number is 2 and we've updated the DRO with the new tool number and we also rotated to slot number two here on our DRO. Let's do that again. There's a lot going on here so we'll do number, tool number seven. Again it prompts you yes. Our DRO rotates. The arm tool change completes. We get our tool change. We get the input from the Arduino. Slot 3 updates with tool number 7 and again it lets us know that slot 3 is where we put the tool. Now you can manually rotate it again by just clicking the number here and you can also manually type in a number in any DRO. And I'll just go ahead and do that just for visual here. Now we will only, you can only use tool numbers up to 99. Again, uh, just like with my original macro, I did this so that it just limits it to two digit numbers. It just makes the DRO only two digits. So, I mean, it can be changed to three or four digits, but I don't think personally I'm going to have 99 tools uh, that I'm going to need, so I just made it 99. Okay, so now that we have the tool changer loaded up and we want to do a tool change. So, I have the z-axis moving to uh, the tool change position. So hopefully we can see that move and let's go and get a tool. So we have seven in the spindle now and let's go get tool number 11. So what I want to see happen is we want to rotate to slot one this should change to slot 1. We should initiate an output to the Arduino. The arm should turn red. Once we get our input back from the Arduino, slot 1 should update with tool number 7 and the spindle should update with tool number 11. So let's do an M6T11. This is going to happen kind of fast since it's just in simulation mode and we're not actually having any machine movement so uh, we can do this a couple times if you want so our arm activates we get our input back from our Arduino slot 1 updates with tool number 7 and the spindle updates with tool number 11 now notice we've got two sevens in there and that is possible. I think I probably did that uh, not knowing what I was uh, doing there. 
So let's get rid of that and put in tool 12. That way we don't have that to confuse anyone. Okay, so now let's go and get tool 12. And so we should swap tool 11 should be placed into slot 3 and tool 12 should be placed into the spindle. M6 T12 So you can see we moved to slot 3, the Arduino output for the arm. If it doesn't happen in the time allotted, then you get that error. But you can fix the problem with the arm and hit retry and it will clear up and continue on. So we swapped tool 11 into the ATC with tool 12 into the spindle. Um, Really, um, now that I've got it working, it, it really works really well. I think visually the screen set is appealing. And I've, of course, uh, Matthias doesn't really know that I've done all this. So this he's going to be kind of surprised, I think, when he sees this screen set. I don't know if it's actually what he's looking for, but... I think it does everything that he asked for the thing uh, for the screen set to do. Uh, it'll move into position. It stores eight tools plus one in the uh, spindle. It moves to the uh, Z position, wherever that may be. Uh, I have it currently set at three inches below home. Of course that is user defined so that can be changed. I've added the ZDRO that he was looking for to control the drum. Uh, we send an output for the Arduino. Now I've, I've decided, I've gotten so interested in this whole drum arm tool changer macro that I actually started out and it was way more complicated than it needed to be because I was trying to have it do a lot more than Matthias wanted me to do. So this one is kind of the dumbed down version just so that it meets his requirements. Um, Mach 3 can actually control the arm, do that tool change, uh, and we can actually get visual inputs to make sure that the pivot for the drum is down and up out of the way before the arm actually moves. So I'm going to actually do probably another screen set and macro for having Mach 3 control everything. But So Matthias, uh, that is your screen set and macro. Uh, I think once you see this you'll be hopefully you'll be happy with what I've done. I think I've met all the requirements that you asked. Uh, you want to keep up with eight tools plus one in the spindle. We've got that. Uh, we're going to rotate the drum to the tool position and move the Z into the tool position, the tool change position. Uh, on this particular machine, I have it set right now for minus three inches from the home location. Of course you can change that uh, and it'll be user defined. If you have it in millimeters then you can change that as well. Uh, we're sending an output to the Arduino for the arm to do the tool change. Uh, we get a visual indication of that by the red flashing arm here. Um, we receive our input from the Arduino that the tool change is complete and you can see that by the indication here, the green center section. Uh, I did it that way to indicate that not only is it complete but when it is complete the arm needs to be turned uh, 180 so that it clears the spindle and the drum so it's kind of stored out of the way and so that's why it looks sideways here because that's the way it should be when it's clear. Uh, and we dynamically update the tool changer with the tools.
to keep track of everything. So hopefully, um, Matthias, I hope you, that you uh, think this is uh, what you were looking for. We just briefly discussed it in a couple of emails, and I kind of just took off on it because it, I was just intrigued uh, in doing it. Um, I think now that I have his pretty much the way he wants it, there may be some minor tweaks needed. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a full scale for maybe a bigger machine and actually have Mach 3 control the arm and actually have visual inputs for the pivot of the tool on the drum down and up to make sure that that's clear. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, I know quite a bit of people are starting to retrofit these older VMCs and the older electronics are hard to find or really expensive so it's just a lot cheaper and easier to go with Mach 3 control and use uh, different components so there may be quite a few more people interested in something like this stay tuned for that so that wraps up this video if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to comment Stop by and visit the website at www.cnc4xr7.com. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.